Welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Now let's get on with the video. Today I'm excited to bring you another pen from Fountain Pen Revolution. And in my last video, I showed this Muff pen and how to eyedropper it. And I did some things in here that I'm sure might make you a little bit crazy in the way that I eyedroppered it. So I'm gonna try and use a little bit better technique this time. And so I am going to be showing you this pen, which is the Airmail 90T. So this is also made in India. All the fountain pen revolution uh, fountain pens are made in India. And that's one of the things that they do is that in India and in Pakistan, where I'm from, a lot of times you're going to see that, and I mentioned this in other videos too, the way that I learned to use a pen was by using a fountain pen. And they put a fountain pen in your hand when you're very little. So around four or five, I had a fountain pen, believe it or not. And it kind of looked like this one, which I'm going to show in another video but um, this one just really reminds me of the pen that I had growing up and a lot of times you are eyedroppering the pen so as I mentioned my first technique wasn't the cleanest so I'm going to try and, and do it a little bit nicer uh, way in this one so this is an airmail as I mentioned it is a fountain pen and the airmail has a standard uh, fine nib I'm like just really messing up my words today and so it has a fine nib let me get this a little bit more so you can see it and it is a 5.5 nib I'm not positive if it has a plastic feed or an ebonite feed and I'm going to show you the difference between some of these this one here is an indus pen I'm going to show this one in another video but I'm going to show the difference here. So this one is a plastic feed. You can actually see, but then this one does not have that plasticky part to it. It looks more like an ebonite. I'm not positive, but you know, in this cheapy Muft, which is free pen, um, they have an ebonite feed in this guy. And this airmail looks an awful lot like that one rather than the one with the plastic feed. So, jury is still out whether this is ebonite or not and you know what since i don't know i'm not going to take a guess at it but there you go so it is five and a half inches when it's capped and i am going to show you how to eyedropper it and in the next video i'm going to show you this indus and we're going to continue on with the rest of these pens but i'm going to get them out of the way so that i can show you what to do with this so if you're new to eyedroppering, you're going to be a little bit nervous, but don't be. So most of these fountain pen revolution ones are, they, they have a lid where you screw them. You screw the lid off and then you have a, um, the, this part here. And it actually looks like there may be some silicone um, on this already, which is awfully nice. Uh, but what you want to do, let's say that you don't know if there's silicone or whatever else. You don't know what um, what your pen looks like. So what you want to do if you're new to fountain pens is to go ahead and get some silicone grease. And you can get it at the hardware store or uh, you can order it from these pen stores. And I know that this, again, is going to make some of you crazy, but I'm going to just go ahead and do that. But I just dab my finger in there and I actually put it around this area. I have a small finger so I can actually get a little bit in here. And then I wanna get some of this on to the threads as well. So I just kinda dip that in. And I'm probably really generous with it. And the reason why I am is because I had to make sure this guy is not gonna leak. And so what you wanna do is get the silicone on the threads. Silicone grease is used for like underwater stuff and um, to make things waterproof. So this is not, um, sometimes people ask like, okay, are you even able to get this off? And the answer is yes, of course, because it's grease, it's not glue. So you're gonna be able to take this off and on because you need to be able to refill this so anyway just thought i would share that with you so 
I just put this back on so that it gets through all of these. And if you forget to do that like I did in the last video, don't worry too much about it. It's not that big of a stress. Okay, so we got that onto the threads. So now it's time to fill this guy. Let me get this a little bit into the center of the screen here and so you can see. I am actually going to be using Diamine Dark Forest. It's a green and I like to give my inks a little bit of a shake in case something settles. But what I also like to do, what a lot of people do, is use the ink to kind of match the color of their pen and then that way you're not guessing what's, you know, what's kind of ink is in which pen, especially when you don't have the demonstrator. And uh, I have a syringe here. It looks very professional, like, um, you know, medical equipment here. Don't try this at home. Actually, you should try it at home because it's a lot of fun. So I am going to go ahead and pull out some ink here. And, oops, a lot of times it says that you can eyedropper these to about three mils. So I'm pulling out about three mils in the syringe. And I don't want to get too much ink on the threads because I just think that gets really messy. So I that's why I used the, uh, the needle there. Okay. And you want to fill this right to the bottom of the threads. And I, and I actually like that this has kind of a little beveled edge so that I can, can see what's going on. Okay, and this one does not have anywhere near the three mil capacity because I still have a lot of ink left. So I don't know where I got the three mil from. I think it's the other two pens. So I'm going to put that ink back in there and tap this because I have been known to wipe that over because I talk with my hands. All right, so what's recommended by people? And again, what's recommended is not always what Mona does because I do my own thing a lot of times, but what's recommended is that you're supposed to screw this down into the pen about halfway, and then you're supposed to tip it upside down so that it primes the feed. Okay, so halfway, and then halfway down, I'm gonna hold this over the napkin here so that it goes in, and then you are supposed to then um, I'm going to take these papers out of the way because what I'm going to do next is you're going to then, so you can see the ink coming down, and you're going to continue to um, thread this down, so then you're going to see ink come down through the feeds. There we go. One, two, and usually like three. Okay. There we go. And so that should be ready to write. So you just kind of get that on there and then get that out of the way. And what I also like to do is just kind of make sure I don't have any ink around. You know what? I'm just always having ink on my fingers, so it kind of doesn't matter. And then we're going to cap that and let's see how well this writes. And this again is oh, lovely. Airmail 90T. So that writes right away, right away. And this is copy paper, so not, not too bad. It does not have a lot of, actually it's doing really beautifully here. Uh, kind of like that muff, it, there's not much of the the way that it kind of bleeds out into the paper. So that's cheap, cheap copy paper. That's not anything fancy at all. And then this one is here and I'm gonna So this is also the airmail by FPR. And then this is their standard standard and i believe it's a fine and they say fine tipped nib and let's see from this um, mm -hmm. 
Okay, so there you have a writing sample. Very smooth. And again, it's the Diamine Dark Forest ink. So Diamine tends to be more of the wetter ink. And you can, you can kind of experiment with this. It is a really pretty, very, very pretty pen. If you can tell, especially with the ink in it. When the ink's not in it, it looks a little cheapy. But with the ink in it, it's actually quite quite pretty. And um, so I hope you like that review and how to eyedropper a pen. And don't be scared. Go grab one of these and try it out for yourself. Until next time, bye.